Um, and again, my criticism of Elvin Kurti is that I, qu- I can't come up with one idea that he's supported that the Americans yeah. wanted. He's always been against everything that the Americans have put forward. Um, Joe Biden was around for a long time, so he was the chairman. Yeah. Um, but Joe Biden, for the last three years, has done very little for this region. And I find it to be uh, a huge problem. You look at the messes that we have, it's because there's no attention from the U.S. Remember, the U.S. policy right now is that the Europeans are in charge of Kosovo-Serbia negotiations. What's going on in the United States? Uh, are, are we going to see you again in administration if Republicans win? Look, we got one administration at a time. The <laughs> Biden administration is, is fully in charge of the United States, and we'll have an election, and we'll have a very uh, loud, dramatic messy election like we always do. I'm looking forward to it. I'm it looks be... tight. It looks tight. So polls for Donald Trump are quite high. Yeah, I'm biased. I think that- Are you biased? I, look, I, we haven't had in modern history in the United States an election, a presidential election, that literally shows the two presidents going head to head on what they did when they were president. Yeah. Usually what you have is somebody saying, If I yeah. become president, this is what I'm going to yeah. do. He had four years. And you have to kind of hope and pray that they do that. Now, we're going to be able to show the Biden economy versus the Trump economy, the Biden global affairs versus the Trump foreign affairs. Tell me a country in the world that is better off because of Joe Biden. I don't think you could come up with one. Joe Biden, uh, for us as a Kosovars, we have absolutely huge respect for him, for what he did for Kosovo. In the past. In the past. In the past. In the past. He was absolutely one of the greatest uh, uh, he was, senators. Think, senators. He wrote the letters. He wrote editorials. He was If vocal. letters and editorials would have done something big, uh, then I would give you all that credit. The only Look, thing that we had there was There are a whole bunch of senators who wrote letters and did a whole bunch of things. Yeah. Um, Joe Biden was around for a long time, so he was the chairman. Yeah. Um, but Joe Biden, for the last three years, has done very little for this region. And I find it to be uh, a huge problem. You look at the messes that we have, it's because there's no attention from the U.S. Remember, the U.S. policy right now is that the Europeans are in charge of Kosovo-Serbia negotiations. Uh, I am absolutely a fan of domestic government in Kosovo to be bipartisan when it comes to the United States. It's smart, probably. We absolutely should be careful not supporting any of the other candidate because we have yeah, friends I get it. in both sides. Yeah, and so, we too. Yeah, we we should do the same thing. It is stupid. What do you like most about Kosovo, Rick? It, uh, mm. Can you tell me? I would say my friends. Okay. Uh, I, I love coming here because the, the people are amazing. Um, I think that they're really hungry for freedom. They're hungry for capitalism. Yeah. Um, they work hard. Uh, they're good people. And so I, I like coming because of my friends. You were the first openly gay high official in uh, administration. We had a Uh, parade a few weeks ago, a few days ago, yeah. uh, Pride Parade, in which Prime Minister of Kosovo, for the first time, before him also thought she did, yeah. but I think we, we are the only country in the region with this open-mindedness regarding the uh, I think diversity. Serbia does too. I haven't seen President Vucic uh, going in the parade. Oh, so, so I thought you were saying with the countries being open. Yeah, but still, we have a prime minister of Kosovo who won 51% yeah. from a majority the Muslim president country. President Thatchi picked Did. a prime minister a- who's openly gay. Yeah. That's pretty historic. Yeah, it's pretty historic. So we have, I mean, again, I have my opinions regarding this government, but we are holding well. So we have good media, we have good civil society, yeah. strong constitutional court, yeah. strong courts. Uh, If you compare with the countries in the region, I think we are stronger in, in all indexes, we are stronger. Yeah. Look, I, I, I agree with you. And, and let me compliment Alvin Kurti on one thing. Good. Originally, when he was talking about weeding out corruption. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. 
it's it's really what needs to be done. And every single leader in the in the Balkans needs to talk about corruption. The problem is, is that he didn't do anything about it. He yeah. he just talked about it. Mm -hmm. um, and again, my criticism of Elvin Kurti is that I qu I can't come up with one idea that he's supported that the Americans yeah. wanted. He's always been against everything that the Americans have put forward. And so, look, we have a special relationship. United States and Kosovo. I, I want to protect that special relationship, but I think it's at one of its lowest points right now. Um, I haven't seen so many Republicans and Democrats condemning the prime minister of, of Kosovo. That's a problem, and I think it needs to be fixed. Last question. If we see you again in a high position, are you going to deal again with the Balkans? from anywhere that you are in? I mean, look, that's a big hypothetical. I know. Who, who knows what's gonna happen in my life? Yeah. Um, I'm a cancer survivor, so every single day that I wake up and I'm living, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, let's let the future kind of play out and we'll see. Rick, thank you. All the best. Pleasure to interview you.